so um, today in this video we are going to discuss about the applications of the newton's third law of motion so already you know the newton third law of motions uh, what is the newton third law of motion to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction and the action and reaction acts on different bodies so we'll give some examples here so first one is firing a shot from a gun so first one is So what is the action here? So when when a gun is fired, the bullet shots out due to the force applied on it by the trigger of the gun. So when we we'll pull the trigger, then we will apply a force on the bullet, and the bullet uh, will uh, and under the reaction force as per Newton's third law of motion, the bullet exerts an equal and opposite force on the gun, and this gives a backward jerk to the shoulder supporting the gun. So this is known as the the recoil of the gun okay so this is the phenomena happens at the time of firing a shot from a gun now next one is walking so what will happen at the time of walking so what is the action when we walk on the ground then our foot pushes the ground backward direction so always you observe when we walk we always apply an inclined force on the ground so that is called the action force as the reaction force will be as per newton's third law the ground pushes our foot forward with an equal and opposite force so that is the that is the reaction force harder you push harder the walker pushes the ground and faster he or she can walks okay so that is the techniques of walking at the at the time of walking walking what is the action and reaction force you have learned so now the rowing of a boat rowing of a boat so i think you have seen the boat and like this the boat will look like this this is the water and the boatsman will be sitting here and he is having this type of thing in his hand so what is the action force so during rowing a boat the boatman uh, pushes the water backward with a pole this is the pole he is having and which is having the flat blades this is having a flat blades with that he pushes the water on the backward direction so this is he will apply the force on this direction this is known as the action force actions and the water will give the reaction force to this direction so reaction so this is because of this reaction force the boat is moving forward okay so what you can say that is the reaction force according to newton's third law of motion the water exerts an equal and opposite force uh, uh, the boat uh, in a force the boat pushing the boat in forward direction and the harder the boatman pushes back the water the more its reaction forces exerts by the water and the faster the boat moves forward okay so that is the thing now next one is flying a rocket flying flying of a rocket so what will happen you have all and uh, at the time of diwali you have uh, uh, all like uh, seen the rockets uh, how the rockets the firecrackers you've seen so what is the action force in case the rocket the rocket in rocket the fuel is burned to produce the large quantity of gases uh, the ejected gases comes come out uh, and opening with a great force so this is the rocket here there is a rocket and this is the side you can see and when you give fire to the rocket the gases are coming in this way and the rocket is going upward direction so this is the this is your action force force on on gases 
is known as action and this one is the reaction force on rocket this is the reaction so this thing will happen so rocket will go in the upward sorry the reaction force the hot gases coming downwards pushes the rocket upwards with equal and opposite force okay so next one is swimming again the same thing what is the action here a swimmer pushes the water in the backward direction with his hand and as the reaction force uh, the water pushes the persons in the forward directions with equal force harder the swimmer pushes the water with his hands and legs faster he can swim so that is the thing the next one is tying of boat before allowing the passengers to get out of the boat so what will happen in this case suppose this is the boat this is the boat here now here is the here is the shore so although as you see the before the, the passenger jump from the boat the boat is tied with properly with the shore why because when the like what is the action here when the passengers on the boat starts getting out of the boat they pushes the boat backwards with their feet so that is the action force now what is what is happening the reaction force as per newton's third law of motion the boat exerts an equal and opposite force on the passengers in the forward direction as the boat is in water so it moves backwards due to the force exerted by the passenger and it slides back uh, in the it can slide in the backward direction okay so the passenger will not be able to um, come out from the boat so that is why uh, the batsman ties the boat to prevent it from the sliding uh, sliding back in the water now what will happen if it is not tied so if the passenger jumps from the boat so what will happen if the passenger will apply the force on this boat and the boat will go uh, forward direction and the uh, backward direction and the passenger may fall into the water okay so prevent to prevent this type of accident so the passenger will always tie the boat before allowing the passenger to get out of the boat now next one is hitting the hitting a ball with a bat hitting a ball with a bat with bat with bat see all of see in the cricket match so when a uh, like in the uh, batsman will hit harder uh, then like when the ball is uh, thrown to the batsman and is hit harder with a bat by him then some action is done on the ball by the by the bat so if you look at the bat so there may be a deep spot of color left by the ball uh, or some depressions on the bat you have seen this one so it is because uh, it is the uh, it is due to the fact that the ball has applied some reaction force on the bat okay so next one is the flying uh, bird flying bird so what will happen like the birds flying by exerting a force on the air which is known as the action the wings of the birds force the air downwards and also backwards the air in returns lifts the bird and also pushes it forward so this is known as the reactions okay so we have learned eight applications of the newton's third law of motion next class we will discuss about the law of conservation of the momentum
ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮੱਚ